Hi, I'm Pete. I'm one of the HVAC instructors here for the Electrical Training Center. Today I'm going to show you some tips on boiler accessories. So what we do is we start off by going with our supply line. After we have our supply line, we must put in a, an expansion tank. This expansion tank maintains the proper pressure inside of your boiler. Okay, usually it's about a 15 pound expansion tank here. You can get away with this with the one to two zone home, which is standard. But I'm just, as a mechanic, I like a dirty because I want to make sure that I have enough pressure in my system to carry it up to the second floor loop. It has a Schrader pin, just like in air, but you do not want to adjust this whatsoever. It's preset. If they lose your pressure, okay, what's going to happen is this boiler relief valve is just going to build up pressure and build up pressure and it's going to pop at 30 pounds because it's preset. And that's how you get water on the floor. If you need to replace the expansion tank and or the boiler relief valve, I always like to change both at the same time. We also have an air scoop. This gets in line with uh, your piping, whether it's copper or black iron, depends on how. Also, make a note of the arrow, it has to go to this flow. If there's also marked inlet and outlet, just watch the arrows. Also, this tank, is this expansion valve has a half inch thread here on the, the top side. This also must be doped, either with pipe dope and or Teflon tape and it has to be left in the vertical position for this to operate. We, are, we screw it on the bottom of the air scoop. We don't want air in a system due to the fact that the air will restrict the water flow. It usually is at the highest point of the boiler. This is an air vent. This here must be feel free. Do not break this or bend this. This top piece should be first tightened then slightly loosen. Do not remove it all the way so the air can come out. Also, we have threads on here. This must be either doped with the pipe dope and or Teflon tape. Screws into the top. <laughs> and this is the way your, your venting of the air from the boiler should be. I always like to put these on a supply line coming off the boiler so you know that the water is gonna flow properly. And what I also recommend is as your return lines from each of the areas from your supply, it comes in, it comes back. What I'd like to do is always put it at the highest point inside the boiler room on the return side. Your air movement would be greater this way as a bleed port. You want this to come in off of your boiler, off of your supply side, at least 12 to 18 inches away from the boiler Okay, so it has plenty of room. This is your Watts boiler feed. This is your Watts backflow preventer. You want to make sure that you have the proper pressure and the proper temperature going into your boiler. Okay, this coincides with this. This is the gauge to read this. You don't want to go no more than 20. Personally, I go with 20 for depending on the second floor. It also depends on how long, how many zones that you have, how insulated your home is. This is the Spiro air vent, okay? It goes on top of your boiler, on the supply line, okay? Uh, air will come out through this little vent here. Please do not shake it. There is a float assembly in here. As the water is breaking down through the screens, it processes the air to go up. As the air goes up, it comes out here. This here is the low water cutoff switch. What this device does, it shuts off the oil burner to prevent any harm or injury or death. Location of this control can be mounted anywhere in the piping within the boiler range, okay? And all it is is just a T-fitting or two and just make sure the water is turned off. Screw it in, also remember, before you screw it in, you do have a threaded connection, you either pipe dope it and or Teflon tape. It screws in. And we have a harness jacket. It clips right in. Make sure it goes the same way. And this will get tied into your boiler control. 
For more information on learning and servicing heating equipment, visit electricaltrainingcenter.edu or supplyhouse.com.